to welcome racing fans to Motorsports Radio's Weekend Edition, home of Motorsports Talk, motorsportsradio.net. Kevin Harvick, winner of last Sunday's NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race. Kyle Busch, winner of uh, last Saturday's Xfinity Series race. Uh, Kevin World Truck Series had the weekend off. Uh, Kevin World Trucks return this Saturday for their elimination race in the Kevin World Truck Series round of eight as they go from the round of eight to the round of of six. Uh, in tonight's program, we're going to go over the chase standings and then we're going to go over uh, some racing news, uh, some interesting stuff to talk about this week, and then we'll wrap it up with the racing schedule. Uh, so, taking a look at the uh, chase standings, starting with the Sprint Cup Series chase uh, round of 12. And uh, we started with Jimmy Johnson uh, in first place right now with 3,082 points. Matt Kenseth in second. Third place, Kyle Busch. Fourth place, uh, we have Kyle Edwards, Kurt Busch in fifth place. Uh, Matt Kenseth right now with 3,074 points. Kyle Busch with 3,072. Kyle Edwards, 3,069. Kurt Busch with 3,062. Now, uh, Martin Truex Jr. in 6th place right now. 7th place, it's Kevin Harvick. A big jump for Kevin Harvick. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, Joe Logano in 8th place. Austin Dillon in ninth place. They're both with 3,045 points. Uh, Danny Hamlin in 10th place. We have Brett Keselowski in 11th. And in 12th place, we have uh, we got Chase Elliott. Uh, now, uh, take a look at this. Now, the, the jumpers and divers for this week... Uh, some of the jumpers we have Carl Edwards that jumped up from sixth uh, to fourth. Uh, Trex Jr. climbed seventh up to, uh, to sixth. Uh, but a big jump for Kevin Harvick, of course, was the winner, as we just mentioned, uh, of last week's can uh, uh, with Casino 400. Uh, Kevin Harvick uh, climbs from 12th place up to seventh, which is going to be very important as uh, four more drafts get cut this Sunday. Uh, Joe Logano climbed from 11th up to 8th place, so he's going to be right on the line right there. Austin Dillon, uh, he's right below the line. Uh, some uh, divers this week, uh, Denny Hamlin dived from 8th down to 10th. And then we have Bart Keselowski, which was in 4th place last week, and he drops down to 11th. Uh, Chase Elliott drops from 10th down to 12th. So as you know, uh, you want to get out of the bottom four uh, this weekend. Of course, a win will get you into the round of eight, and everyone else is going to be getting in on points so far. Jimmy Johnson and uh, Kevin Harvick have cemented their spots in the next round of eight uh, for the last, which will be the last. So we got four more races coming up, and uh, we're going to get uh, as we wind down this 2016 NASCAR season. Now, take a look at what's going on with uh, the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Uh, Elliot Sadler right now in first place. Daniel Suarez in second place. Third place will be Blake Koch. Uh, Justin Algaia, he's in fourth place. Eric Jones, in, uh, in, he's in uh, fifth place right now. Uh, sixth place would be Ryan Reed. Brandon Gullen in seventh place. Eighth place will be Daryl Wallace Jr. driving the number six car. Uh, the jumpers and divers for the Xfinity Series. Um... Well, Elliot Sadler climbed from second up to first. Uh, Daniel Suarez from first down to second. Uh, a big jump up would be Blake Koch, who climbed from eighth all the way up to third. Okay. Uh, Justin Algaia drops from third down to fourth. Uh, Eric Jones from fourth down to fifth. But uh, Brandon Gullen, he drops from fifth all the way down to seventh. Uh, and then Darrell Wallace Jr. from seventh down to eighth. Uh, now... Uh, Xfinity Series returns that this week, but they actually got two more weeks. Uh, they got a little break for Xfinity Series before they get to their elimination race, which I believe is in a... Now, let me see. Check the schedule here really quickly. Uh, we have uh, Texas, actually, November 5th, uh, which will be the O'Reilly Auto Parts Challenge. That will be the elimination race for the Xfinity Series as they go from their round of uh, eight to their round of four. Now, taking a look at what's going on here for the Campbell Truck Series, which has kind of been redundant lately because there hasn't been any truck races um, this uh, for a couple of weeks, but just to run it down uh, for the Campbell World Truck Series, who are still in their round of eight. Uh, okay, uh, William Byron in first place, Chris Boucher, uh, excuse me, uh, Christopher Bell in second up place right now. Uh, Matt Crafton, driver of the double eight in third, and Ben Kennedy, driver of the double three, he's in fourth. Uh, Timothy Peters in fifth. 
Johnny Souther in sixth place. Seventh place is Daniel Heinrich and John Hunter Nemechek is in eighth place. Uh, top ten for Formula One. Formula One also returns this weekend for the United States Grand Prix. So they're coming over to our side of the pond. Uh, Nico Rosberg in first place. Second place, Lewis Hamilton. Third place is Daniel Ricciardo. Kimi Raikkonen in fifth place. Uh, sixth place will be Sebastian Vettel. Uh, Valtteri Bottas in seventh. Eighth place will be Sergio Perez. Nico Hulkenberg in ninth. And sitting in tenth place is Felipe Massa. All right, so now uh, it's just going to get over to some... Uh, Go over some uh, new stuff this week, which is uh, pretty much all we do on the weekend edition. Go over some new stuff, and then we set up the schedule for uh, this upcoming weekend. Uh, penalty update for uh, we'll do this the Motor Plus Radio's penalty update. Uh, a couple warnings, uh, but one team uh, has a penalty, and that would be the 88 team uh, post race inspection at Kansas. Uh, for a uh, lug nut violation, uh, a, quote, improperly installed lug nut, end quote, uh, sourcemotorsports.com. The lug nut infraction resulted in a $10,000 fine for the 88 crew chief, Greg Ives. Uh, the 88 car was driven by Alex Bowman on Sunday. Uh, now for uh, some written warnings, the number 20 team, driver Matt Hens at the 20 team, uh, fails laser inspection three times. Uh, the number 20 Joe Gibbs racing team loses uh, 15 minutes of practice and uh, at Talladega this weekend. Uh, and this was a pre-race inspection that they uh, failed. And then in addition to that, we also have the 19 and the 42 teams who failed pre-race inspection two times. Uh, both teams will lose pit stall selection at Talladega this weekend. The 19 driver Carl Edwards and the number 42 Kyle Larson. Austin Wayne Self's 22 truck will be sporting a Donald Trump scheme on Saturday's Friends 250. The 22 will be sporting the Trump Pence 2016 campaign logo along with Patriot patriotic colors uh, source for this one Fox Sports now there's been talk uh, we have about uh, Xfinity limiting the Sprint Cup Series drivers in the Xfinity Series and they're kind of talking about a little bit for the trucks as well um, but the question would be uh, which Sprint Cup Series drivers have the most Xfinity Series wins uh, of all time uh, from 10 to number 1 and we actually have a link for this article up at motorsportsradio.net uh, number 10 is Dale Earnhardt Sr., who has 21 wins in 136 races. And number 9 is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has 24 wins. Uh, Jeff Burton in number 8 with 27. And number 7, my guy, Joey Logano, also with 27. Uh, in 2012, has won 9 races. And, uh, and I like Joey Logano. It's my favorite driver. <laughs> I know some fans have beef with him. I don't know, but I'm just saying. All right, number six uh, is Matt Kenseth. He has 29 wins. Uh, number five, Brad Keselowski with 34. Carl Edwards, number four, with 38. Kevin Harvick is uh, number three with 46. Uh, Mark Martin, number two, with 49. And if you want to take a lucky guess, number one, okay, the number one Sprint Cup Series driver with the most Xfinity Series wins is Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, 85 Xfinity Series wins. So there you go. Pretty uh, neat stuff right there. But FoxSports.com is the source, and there's a link up at MotorsportsRadio.net. Just click the Sprint Cup Xfinity Wins button uh, right at the top of the page. Uh, now it's time for Motorsports Radio's report card. Yeah, yeah. Source, NASCAR.com. NASCAR grades from A to D. But we just go ABCs here, uh, just to make things go a little quicker here. But in the A column, we have Kevin Harvick, who got an A-plus last week uh, from Kansas. Uh, the rest of the drivers in the A column all got A's. That would be Carl Edwards, Joey Logano, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, Alex Bauman, AJ Allen Dinger, Matt Kenseth, and Casey Kane. Taking a look at the B column, we have, uh, we have uh, Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin, uh, Tony Stewart, Michael McDowell, and Matt DiBenedetto, who all get Bs. Trevor Bain, Danica Patrick, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Chris Boucher all get B-minuses. And in the C column, 
Uh, we have uh, Paul Menard and Landon Castle, who both got C's. Casey Mears gets a C plus. And the following drivers all get C minuses. That would be Greg Biffle, Clint Boya, Brian Scott, Reagan Smith, and David Reagan. All right. So uh, uh, this is kind of some important information. Uh, this week's race at Sunday Sunday Sprinkler Race, which was originally called the Alabama 500, is being renamed, ladies and gentlemen. Embrace yourselves. It will be called the Hellman's 500. Yes, the mayonnaise. Uh, that news broke out yesterday. Uh, right? Motorsports Radio is always digging around for her stuff, uh, which is, uh, we have we, good times here at Motorsports Radio. Motorsportsradio.net, which you're getting really excited about uh, and stuff. And uh, looking forward for the 2017 season. Uh, we're getting some flyers ready. Well, we're working on the process of getting flyers so we can uh, kick off a Motorsports Radio poster derby uh, and start mixing and mingling with some fans. Uh, fans out there that have any questions or comments about uh, NASCAR or Motorsports Radio, go to motorsportsradio.net and you can leave a comment over at the Motorsports Radio fanfare right down at the bottom of the page. Uh, Motorsports Radio's Ranking Digest, source NASCAR.com. Uh, this is the power rankings for... And this week, uh, post Kansas, pre Talladega, it's one through sixteen. Number one is Jimmy Johnson. Number two, Kevin Harvick. Three, Kyle Busch. Four, is Matt Kenseth. Five, Martin Truex Jr. Six, Carl Edwards. Seven, Joey Logano. Eight, Kurt Busch. Nine, Austin Dillon. Ten, Bert Keselowski. Eleven, da Danny Hamill. Number twelve, uh, Chase Elliott. Thirteen, Tony Stewart. Fourteen, Kyle Larson. Fifteen, Jamie McMurray. And sixteen, Chris Boucher. And I'm going to be pulling for Danny Hamlin. We got Danny Hamlin, as you know, in the Motorsports Radio Championship for our probables. And I know he's having some issues, but uh, we're going to do a little pulling for Danny Hamlin in the next over the course of the next few weeks. And of course, it all depends on whether or not uh, he. Number 11 gets cut this weekend. We'll find out on Sunday. Uh, Sunday's race is really only 188 race, uh, laps. Uh, so uh, it should be a quick race. Of course, you know, they are heading to Alabama, the Talladega, which is a restrictor plate uh, course. So uh, those that are uh, seasoned with watching NASCAR know that Talladega always has some surprises. So even though it's only 188 laps, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some drama on Sunday. And I'm pretty excited, very excited to see the trucks racing on Saturday from Talladega because I think that's going to be interesting as well. As we all know, with the trucks, the question comes out a lot in the Campbell Truck Series. So uh, we should have some fun racing in store for us come, come this upcoming weekend. Uh, so again, so Sprint Cup drivers in the Xfinity Series. Uh, Steve O'Donnell, NASCAR Executive uh, Vice President and uh, Chief Racing Development Officer, uh, who said this on uh, Sports Nation. He, they had an article up on there. He says, "Quote: It, cer it certainly is in our radar." Uh, then he continues saying that uh, we've heard our fans, it's interesting, and it's been a balance throughout the years. We've always had Sprint Cup drivers come into the Xfinity Series and sometimes dominate. Uh, this is interesting because, you know, now you have this chase set up in the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series because you got Sprint Cup drivers in the Canada World Truck Series. Uh, you know, but now if you have an Xfinity Series driver, Canada World Truck Series driver who who is trying to get in to the next round on a win, and then you get beat by a Sprint Cup driver. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're, if you're top 10 or top 5, they'll probably help you out with points and stuff. But still, uh, you know, it's, it does make kind of things a little interesting. Uh, of course, you know, the Xfinity Series is always the rookies racing with the big-time guys. So uh, it should be interesting how this is going to unfold. Uh, so uh, the, they said... Uh, now, uh, uh, O'Donnell also says that this is something we're taking really uh, a really hard look at for the next year. He closes by saying, "I stay, I say, stay tuned uh, because we're going to look at that and probably have something to announce uh, fairly soon." So uh, it should be interesting how this unfolds. Hey, become a show sponsor, uh, organization, business, or sponsor of episode of any of the Motorsports Radio program.